if you are Igbo and you are living outside Nigeria, you are living abroad, this video is for you. And if you have an uncle, which you love that your uncle very well, send this video to your uncle. This, this that our sister said in this video is going to teach you a lot of things. She make a whole lot of points in this particular video. This, our sister hit a very heavy point in this video that I will show you. And what happened in this video is that he's in saying that those Igbo people that live abroad, that marry there, their children have a citizenship of the country could they are residing on. Do you know that they are not thinking, they are not thinking to leave or to come back home anytime soon. They may die there and those children will never come back. The people in the home will claim everything they have labored for. So my people, when we are going to outside country, our aim, our dream is to go there and make money and come back home. Okay, now, if all of us leave the home, where are you going to go home? If you are afraid of your village people killing your children, you don't want to bring your children home, and your children now live their whole life in Europe, in America, or other part of the world, tell me who will be there to represent you in your fatherland tomorrow. This, our sister, hit a very heavy point. So for those of you who don't understand Igbo language, please look for somebody that will translate this video for you. It's very, very important that you hear this thing that she said in this video. And I also want to use this opportunity to tell our brothers that I have this, I have two people currently now that is what this, our sister said in this video is happening to. This man live close to me. This man have up to, he have four children. And these four children now nah, are not even, when you talk of Nigeria, they tell you that they don't know anywhere in Nigeria. So who are they going to Nigeria to meet? Immediately, their mother died here. No, I'm sorry, their father died here. They decided to bury the father here. Tell me, in this life, do you think that these children will ever think home? That will not happen. No, never. They are not going nowhere. So, I don't say do not have children in our blood. But please, you come from somewhere. Why not we learn from other countries? Morocco people, Indians, China, other countries. They took their family home. Even their children speak their language in that foreign land they are living. But we, the Igbos, some part of Nigeria, we don't even care of teaching our children our language or teaching them who we are, where we are from, and take them home. Make them to understand that this is your mansion. This is your father's mansion. And here you belong to. So that tomorrow, when... Those children look for you, they didn't see you. At least one day they may pick one of your word and say, My father, let make me understand that here is where I belong. You may think to continue where you stop from there. So watch this video and we'll come back and continue. Let me tell you something, especially if you're an evil man. This is what you people are going to be facing in no time. I'm on the Madugane Ichi. Because nobody can come to fight for the properties, the lands, the houses you built in Nigeria. Now, as a Nippon man, where they are side country, where you say you born all your children for a side country, your children are UK citizens, your, your children are American citizens, your children are European citizens. Most of your children does not come back to Nigeria. And they all, some come back to Nigeria during Christmas, they stay two weeks and go. Now, all your children's life are based there. I'm not talking about Nation Nigeria, but I don't how. They only bring them back during Christmas. We are going to get to that stage whereby if you come to this particular company, they tell you since the man died, the children have not come back. The children don't know if their father built a house. We will get to that stage. We will get to that stage or gradual process. 
Uh, my children is the citizen of America. I'm a gigage because those your children are going to continue their life there, give birth there, have married there. Most of them are not going to, 80% or 90% of them are never going to come back to come and start fighting for the land. Then there's Okrona Nigeria, Mawol, and then Okrona Nigeria. They are not going to do that. So I'm a gigage. Give one little Mugirile, Chigaha America, Hanora. I'm a gigage. Umugame, Ibo upbringing. They don't have upbringing of Ibo now. They don't have such upbringing. Oh, my brother. I'm a gig. In case me no I'm one. Can we plan to go and talk about here and no longer before years? Because most of your children are never going to come back. That is the disadvantage of giving birth in America, in UK, giving birth to your children in the diaspora. They are never going to come back. To fight for all those properties. Oh, this is my father's house. Oh, my one name Pam Shinola and Pamu Po. Yeah, our lamp Pamuzo. Those your children are never going to do that because you're already giving them a better life, a life that made them understand that they can get anything in Obodo Ibo, they can get anything they want in America, they can buy a house, continue their life, get married. Dear, now give one more again in Nigeria. Call my camera again in Nigeria. Kids, it matter that in our one on a lab, that you'll be sending money home to build a house. Abi, now you are doing all those things for the future of your children. Now your children has already have better futures because of the citizen of that country that they are. Ehela na amage chiela, indirectly amage chiela. Umu umu neunu. Your brothers and sisters are going to be rich in no time. Your brothers and sisters are going to claim your properties, claim everything that you worked so hard for, because your children are never going to come back for those properties. Most of you. The only thing you can do is when your children get to two years, you bring them to Nigeria, they stay one year, stay two years. And they want them to be married with their father's property. You understand? Ibo land, we, our parents make us to understand that if they are no more, we own their properties. My senior brother will own my father's house. Me, I will get a one room in my father's house. That is how it is. We own things from our father. We get things from them. All their hard work, we are the one to claim those things, not our, our, our father's brother. So our father's brother be made in the... Abwezibwewe now. Abwezibwewe but your children don't have such orientation. Your children they were ancestral upbringing. Time, I'm gonna get you. Child, you know no one will be here. I'm gonna get you. Then maybe the hand they met when they were first son. You are the only son of your parents. You went and gave birth to all your children in Alabeke. Those children can never come back to Nigeria to come and say, "Oh, after my father is me, my father is no more is me." They cannot. Oh, they cannot. They will never. They will never come back to claim all those properties. No matter how you speak Igbo language for your children frequently in Alabeke that you people base, it will, not, it will never give them enough reason to come and say, okay, let's go and settle in Nigeria. Let's go and settle in Igbo land and look for our father's properties. Alande na zokwa, oga abaraguru. Nde we kwa will claim their lands back because most of your children are not coming back. All on there now, no coco everywhere. All the corners of Nigeria, no no lozo ma hotelo. Na zoko ala na no kolo na no coco company. Oga abakwara guru. There is nobody after you because your children based in Alabeke. No heir to your throne. The heir to your throne prefers Alabeke life more than Nigerian life, more than all those properties you are acquiring. Your children are not coming back for all those properties. So my brother, where do we go again? You're in them madaka, because only mono mona labeke. Eighty percent of you people, who know they can't deny me one. I'm sorry to tell you people this. You people are going to lose a lot. I'm only getchi because of one single act of mistake. So if you are a married man on a labeke now, umuge to lite to two years. Munyagi poro halak stand in Nigeria. Kaha kwa four years. Ha poro ya mage. Tito hana body in school. Nothing is going to happen to them. You have ancestral upbringing. You have Igbo man upbringing. You have a man that is not a man that is not a man. You have a man that is not a man. 
And I'm not going to say generation for Ndocha. I'm not raise the future for them. Ndocha, I'm not raise their own generation with our own children. And you will our own children. They raise other people's foundation. They raise other people's generation. Now we go suffer them. Generation are now our own. I'm not going to no people to come and say this is our father's house. No generation lineage and wala lineage unuga unucha one after the other because we choose to be raising generation, raising futures from the alabeke from the cha hapuziye kanye umwanye mwezi ibo man upbringing hengwezi ancestral upbringing hama datina and a keep lineage and a keep lineage running. We are not raising futures. We are not raising generations from daughter. We are by our own generation in way foundation. Our own lineage foundation here is here. If you don't bring your children home, I'm sorry to tell you this. Welcome back, my people, for this video you have been watching. And I want you to share and like and follow, subscribe to this channel. And let me know your own opinion in the comment section as I've watched what our sister said in this video. This is a pure truth. You understand? So, a pure truth she said in this video. Marrying aside is good. Having children aside is good. But please, teach your children when home. Eh? Teach them how. You can speak any language they want. But always make them understand they belong to somewhere. They, they are from somewhere. Do you know that? Even though they like, let them have passport, let them have everything. Where the country where they are, do not recognize them as one of them. The citizenship is by paper. So at the time, those children, before they realize all those things, they are at their seventy. They have nowhere to go again. So teach your children back where you come from, and let them know your culture and your true identity. Make them understand that if they look for you, they didn't see you tomorrow. They are the ones who are going to represent you. Thank you for watching. Share.